Hey guys, Ponoob here. So with this video, I wanted to go through 10 games where I did Trey Perloin. Because there's been a lot of discussion, a couple weeks back at least, in regards to the actual skill and decision making in regards to Trey Perloin. With me saying that there is actually a lot behind it. When, for example, Yeesh was saying that it was very much just if you hit the green test or not. And I wanted to go through some of the things, because I, I think this is going to be good in regards to both showing how Perloin works, and what I'm doing when I'm doing, and the decisions I'm making when I'm doing a Perloin, but also just what is a good way to get away with a hard tell, or a good way to do framing, which is what these Perloins are going to end up being. So these are all the tray Perloins that I've done in SCL in Season 5 so far. So we're halfway done. I've played five sets, one set against everybody in Platinum. We're going to have games against everybody. I've purloined against every player, but some more than more than once. Starting off here with Scallions and Courtyard. And I'm just going to vary it up in regards to how long I show the game. Like this game, I think I need to show the whole game to give the context of the purloin. Well, Sam, it's just I need to go over the purloin itself. But hopefully this is educational. So let's get this started. So, I'm Irish, we're just looking around here, let's go to the spy side, um, in regards to getting our flirts done, and we don't want to be in this conversation. When it comes to playing against scallions, what I'm trying to do is do mission completes. I think this BB is good, if we look at the other side. Everybody's in conversation except for Queen, I'm not even sure he's going to look like Queen. Uh, we... I want to complete missions, but I don't want to do it in a way that he can ever shoot me. So what I'm looking for is more like fingerprints on this map. Courtyard's not a particularly great map for this concept, which is why I do end up purloining. I hit my greens. We're at 51%. Um, we're considering a rush, given how well this beginning of the game started. And I'm looking at the statue specifically that Pearls was just at. I'm going to consider doing a frame here if Scallions rotates and I can get him to not see the fade. He sits here like an absolute champ and just does not let me have a moment with the statue alone. So we're just going to inspect. He's actually like not moving at all. If anybody else did a swap on the other side, they could have got away with murder. We're going to go and not stand right next to the twin that we just did. We're going to do something else. Pearls just did a reject, and this is the purloin. So, but the purloin doesn't actually start with me purloin here. It starts here with Toby going towards Pearls. So Pearls is talking in this conversation. She does the reject. I'm ready here to do my purloin. I do also hit my green. And what this looks like on Scallion's side is he's seen two people who've done banana bread. I'm not 100% sure on this replay or if I know that Pearls was in conversation or not with the real DA, but I don't really mind. She's been to statues. She's done purloin, though so have I, and then it's a 50-50 shot if uh, he's tracking between the two of us, because we're very similar. I should enter here right next to my seduction target and get this flirt done. I do it on the other side, then I start and I do the talk immediately. I'm hitting so many greens in this set. Red dress takes, Scallion on his side is actually going to end up shooting red dress. He doesn't actually care for my frame at all, and it's... Uh, why I didn't want to purloin in the first place because purloining against him just gets the person who took the list shot more often than not. But the main re reason I did this particular purloin and the reason I went over to this conversation and onto the window was because I saw Pearl's reject and I know that she's been to statues. Once she rejects, I, even if I do a white test, she might still get shot for this purloin. Next, we're looking at high rise. This is needs context. So, in high rise three or five, I've turned off bug, which is really unusual, and put on purloin. And it's because I'm playing banana conda, and I know previously in other sets that banana conda has watched for bug, despite the fact that bug is not on. And so this is just me mixing up the missions. It's gonna be a fairly boring game, I think. So I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to speed this game up. Here we go. So we're going to play at 1.5 until now. 
Okay, so mom takes, and I'm looking at the party right now, and everything's going on in the right side. Let's pause here. And if I look at the people who are around me, so double agent has a drink in hand, though I think that's a starting drink that, that might get sipped here, and then it would make me look awkward with my pearl line. Mom and Irish have drinks, and I haven't really acknowledged what Pearl's is up to. What I'm hoping here is that the nearest person for Toby to go to, if I hit this purloin, this particularly a green purloin, is out on the left side of the party. So we're looking at... Um, can I have control, please? So I'm hoping that he goes over and goes out to the window or something. I'm hoping maybe like Queen or something. Just dirtles around, maybe just offers to nobody. Um, he is going to end up going to pearls, but we can watch the past. Also, I, I do white this pearl line, which is unfortunate. Also, the little man needs to not screw me over. He continues going away, which is great. And you can see Toby just goes off towards the statues. Now, he's unfortunately going to come over here, but what I was really hoping was I hit a green pearl line and Toby just goes away. And he does do that for a bit. Um, we're going to see Pearl's here, and she's going to end up also rejecting. If I had green purloined, this would have been amazing, because I'm really quite far away. Papa Danger rejected. This would have been amazing as a green purloin, because now we would have had a reject chain of three. And then Queen would have taken, but facing away. So we would have had four people um, there who would have been in the chain, and he wouldn't have necessarily been able to see the fade. Now, I white tested it and I got away with it mainly because what was being watched when I did the purloin. Let's, let's see. He's watching uh, my seduction target. He's watching the briefcase. He's not zoomed in on the left side of the party like you usually would be on high rise. And that's. I acknowledged. That, that was because I knew Ambassador was over there. I thought he might be watching the, the bug or the fingerprint. There's just a lot of people and a lot of action over there. Which is why I took this purloin, which is otherwise quite questionable. Um, just a randomly timed purloin on a 3 of 5 map. Let's move on to the library. I think this is also, yeah, this is also Bananaconda. And we are Little Man. And I can tell from conversations I had with Bananaconda that uh, she was really worried about time ads because I'm notorious for time adding on this map. Instead, we're just going to ruin their day by purloining. And let me go check. So we're just going to flirt. There's not much to it at this point. I do do the time ad and they don't catch it here at 3.53 and shuffle myself into conversation uh, and get this flirt and just be kind of behind cover. So even if they did catch the time ad, which it's green, it's going to be harder. Um, they might not notice I'm back here anyways. And then, yeah, Seduction Target leaves before I get the flirt off, because I'm being weird about it, and we're just going to roll out of here, get our flirt on, just go through here, and this game's going fairly slowly. This is cheeky. This is not related to the purloin, but... I really, I really wanted that to work. I wonder how that looks like on the sniper side. Go back in a moment. Okay. So looking at the situation here, if we look at this conversation, General has a drink, Mom's against the wall and has a drink, Duke just took a drink, and Mom has a drink. So everybody in this conversation has a drink. So if I do a purloin here, it means that Toby will go away. And... That's, that's the goal. I'm also in good cover. Let me show how it looks like on the sniper side. So I've, I'm not fully covered. I'm not perfectly positioned in this situation. But what I'm trying to make sure is the only thing he's going to necessarily see is Toby bending down. Because for whatever reason, I chose the little man. I don't think I even chose the little man. I think I random into little man. I was like, okay, <laughs> I guess it's little man time. So I do a really quick pearl line just try and do it. He's lasers over here. I'm scared actually. Um, but Toby goes away. And then let's go look at what he sees. He sees behind the pole ambassador taking, which is not what I intended. List gone and the last person took a drink. He shoots. So 
not a good shot. There's no way that Duke is done in this situation, but he's high lit. And because Toby went away, and specifically because he went away and then did the pearl line behind the pole, it causes a lot of confusion. Um, I don't even know if he ever saw me do the reject or if he knew I was in this conversation. Um, so, yay, pearl lines. Okay, so those were three really good pearl lines, and then this is this is less good, but we'll at least analyze the pearl line. So I'm little man on gallery. This was planned. I knew I was gonna get gallery because your end was gonna ban uh, TN, and so I was like, let's make it as TN as possible. He ends up highlighting me because I'm little man, which is annoying. I should have done more research and just not done this, but. We're going to get away with it, so it's fine. Uh, I missed the pat pad here. If he was zoomed out, he could probably shoot me on spot because it's year end and he knows these things. I finally don't hit a green today, which is novel because this whole video has been me hitting greens. Yeah, this is classic pwn noob gallery. I'm just going to go back in a conversation and flirt and assume that you're zoomed out the whole time. This is absolutely free he can see it but even with like queen there i figure it's blocked if he's on to me like good job and he ends up that he's not we've got nothing to do here unless we're going to timer flirt and i don't think past me is silly enough to timer flirt yeah search and target leads before him have the opportunity to to worry about it And so what I'm looking at here is double agent over there, seduction target over there. I want to do either. I'm hoping the double agent goes in the conversation. I can consider doing a banana bread because this game is kind of over. If I can just do flirt, BB, and like statues. Obviously I'm a little man, so he might assume the bugs happened and that's concerning, but we're going to try and do this flirt. Double agent, by the way, has not been in conversation this whole game. Um, Toby immediately offers, and we're not going to pearl line here. So if we pearl line here, uh, what's going to happen, right? It's going to be Toby going to probably Salmon. Yeah, he's going the long way around for whatever reason, but Toby goes to Salmon. Uh, and yeah, even if we green pearl lined, it's not. there's no chain. There's no value in just doing a random pearl line. Now... As a look around, and I'm hoping that Seduction Target comes back and helps me out, or Double Agent goes into a conversation, and neither of them are doing that. I'm trying to figure out what my fourth mission is. I could start in specs, but then I'm relying on both my AI to be nice. Seduction Target does this really annoying turnaround, so my chasing is just going absolutely terrible. There's me angry. And this is the Rage Pearl Line. This is me just Pearl Lining because I'm mad about my uh, Double Agent, I'm mad about my Flirt, and I know that. If worst comes to worst, I can bug and dance at the end of the game if I don't have uh, anything better to do. So I do this. I don't even necessarily know, so I'm not even going to check if there was a reject chain. But hopefully Toby continues trying to offer to people who are at the paintings because they won't stay there long enough. Toby's running around. Um, he's finally gotten to someone who's willing to actually consider his offer. And Yuren gets low lights, including not me. He does know about the purloin, but because I got the bug, we're doing okay. We'll finish this game, despite the fact that the purloin's generally done. Um, Yuren's not getting the low lights I thought he did. I thought there were more low lights in this game. I think he uh, got a bit bamboozled because he didn't even highlight mom. So what Yuren's worried about right now, or is going to be worried about here shortly is the ambassador in front and the swap from pearls so what ends up happening is i end up going this is rubbish i can't do a banana bread i don't want to do swap uh can't do inspect and can't do fingerprint so the only option i have left is microfilm and i'm going to slam it in and then we're going to dance for 10 seconds in the back of the conversation and it doesn't even feel like he notices it i'm just absolutely being a jerk back there Yuren's not one to shoot civilians, so even the uh, the purloin without a banana bread said doesn't force him to take any sort of shot. So yeah, uh, purloin had a had a good 
little Toby running around for a bit, and he didn't really react to it. Um, I think I'm probably dead if I wait that purloin, because this is not a good purloin. This is me just trying to finish missions and acknowledging that my double agent is absolutely not helping me this whole game, and it continued to not help. So I ended up having to do microfilm too. Okay. Uh, so this is the other purloin. Um... So what happens here, I get the same exact problem, uh, I get flirt done, and my double agent is rocker again, and she just never enters conversation. She enters conversation here, and I can go in and do the banana bread, uh, but the conversation's like super full, and I don't want to get shot for just missing the pad, so I'm waiting for someone to leave. It just never happens, I bail on that idea. Uh, Oh, it's not even... Yeah, okay. Uh, so we're going to try and get, like, the fingerprint. Ambassador takes the book out, because I don't have any kind cast here. Um, I don't want to grab that briefcase. I will get shot for grabbing that briefcase, because I walked all the way from outside to grab it. Um, briefcase isn't even available anymore. This game's going absolutely terrible. So we're just going to end up doing a desperation purloin. I'm kind of hoping that this is a reject, and we can force a shot. Okay, Ambassador's going to put the drink back. We're getting offered here. We don't even want this purloin. We want our hands free, and I don't want to hit a white purloin. He's got so many low lights already. I specifically don't bug here, because I know it's very much on camera, and I try and get some credit. This is actually a really cute play. I'm going to go back here. Something I want to talk about anyways. So, he still has the book when I go up, and I'm doing a long wait, and I bit too long but I wait till he puts the book back the actual reality is by the time I grab book here he's not actually finished his animation but he his animation to put back is a lot quicker than mine to pull out so I end up getting the fingerprint so I thought that was one of the uh, snazziest plays I possibly done in all of SCL um, I did stand at the bookcase for a long time though Aaron might still be on to me Double agent continues not going this conversation, though, for good reason in this situation, because there's the suspected double agent in this conversation, so I'm just getting continually frustrated. I'm hoping that someone does a reject here, but there's just no actual suspects back here. They're all lowlights, because Yeren is just taking a ton of lowlights. Um, and what I'm hoping here is maybe do purloin and bug, but Ambassador's not helping. He's also walked away from uh, being anywhere near this conversation. I just don't have any dance opportunities. And I wipe the purloin, and let's go look at your inside. So he sees the list gone. It's like purloin happened. Let's... So purloin happened at 14.8. So if he thinks I'm done, he needs to shoot me by 4.8. And he's lining up the shot here. Double agent finally comes into conversation. I do the banana bread. I really wish I hit banana green bread. <laughs> so if this banana bread was uh if the purloin was my last mission i would have actually won like if i'd snuck a bug in somewhere um or microfilm he didn't shoot me uh before the purloin uh 10 seconds i do the banana bread the banana bread actually does stick despite the fact it's aborted um because I contact at 2 seconds and leave at 1.6, but Yuren's already trying to shoot me. This would have been 10 seconds of dancing, and there's like a gap between pearls in general. I don't think this was ever going to go particularly well, but Yuren was already on to me, and I think waited. If, it's good to know in this situation that if I do the purloin and then talk immediately, he might not shoot uh, if it's the last mission. Assuming he doesn't shoot me for flirt. So, yeah, that was a desperation purloin, but I said I'd show all the purloins. Um, and I almost ended up having a chance in that game with Little Man Dancing because of that purloin. And making that decision because no other missions were available. Y you win some, you lose some. Let's see what this game is. Oh, this is Alice. Uh, against Year End. So, this is me doing rude po noob stuff. Just taking the flirt. Stop talking. I'll probably leave here as soon as this animation's done. Yep. I don't want anything to do with Toby yet. 
think anything particular is going to happen here for a bit. So yeah, I end up over here. What I'm trying to do with this path is get closer to the ambassador, but I just cut it really short. And so I just spend a long time here. We'll just speed it up a bit. Waiting and watching the ambassador. If he does a path around me towards the uh, the main part of the party, like the middle part of the party, I can get a uh, reverse drive-by bug. And the only other options, if he goes uh, towards the right side of the party, I can also bug that direction. It's just if he goes past mom at this point that I lose. And of course he's going to end up doing that. Yep. So this is... This is the point where I'm like, okay, now I'm behind. And Toby comes and offers immediately, as soon as I've made that decision. And so I look around my conversation, and yet again, I have another um, good conversation. So Pearls has a drink, Wheels has a book, Mom, I believe, is against the wall. And so the only other person here who um, could be offered is Cowboy. I don't know these in SDA, but what I'm hoping is that Cowboy, when he's offered, it's behind the pillar also. Um, on the sniper side, my purloin's behind the pillar, and I, yeah, Cowboy's not as far behind the pillar. Um, I also do it quite quick. I'm Even just with the people holding drinks and whatnot, if I can just sneak a purloin behind the pillar, that's also good in itself. I don't want to be seen uh, being offered behind the pillar at all. Um, but I'm getting some value. Also, Taff rejected. Also, Ambassador was at the other side of the party, which was important um, for a bit, because it means that Ambassador is still the most interesting thing. Now Ambassador is walking by, so this isn't as good. Um, but all the things I like, Ambassador was far away. There was a reject. It's, I've got cover. Um, and Toby won't just stand next to me um, with the empty list, uh, hopefully. Um, these are all the things I I checklist. This is the pearl line I can take, despite the fact it's three minutes and all I have is one flirt. So I do this pearl line. I don't hit the green, unfortunately. Um, if you look at the uh, sniper side, he sees that there's uh, the list is gone and doesn't particularly react. I do sip here just uh, in case he's onto it. He gets two low lights. Two and a half low lights. Boots is going to do a weird pathing thing. So I generally got away with this Perline. Perline's not the reason that I, I'm going to end up losing this game. The reason I'm going to end up losing this game is this. I sneak off to the uh, the back window. Do some time adds. I do not green like any of them. And he's just going to take a sweeping amount of low lights. Um, yeah, he's 99% sure it's me at this point, And... I, I think I saw like the, the low lights too, because I just don't do anything for the rest of the game until I get shot. But the Perline was good. Perline was not the reason I lost. Uh, this is Falcon Hit, Tan. This will be quite quick and self-explanatory. Um, I'm just going to be rude and go flirt. Don't mind me. Queen is, for whatever reason, inside me. And we're going to get out of here. So now we're behind the Shoji, and double agent and the conversations are full, and I'm just going to do a classic BB Purloin, and I hit greens on both, because I green everything, and then Toby leaves behind the Shoji, which is unfortunate, but I don't think Falcon Hit necessarily even had an opportunity to see uh, the... Okay, so yeah, Falcon Hit does see the list is still there. He can't see the list from this position. Okay, he changes the angle, though. And he sees the list is gone, and he assumes that it's me, because, I mean, I'd be incredibly rude, and I did BB Perline. Um, I don't think he saw the fade. It, I don't think there's a possibility he saw the fade, but um, he just assumes the worst, and it does disappear quite quickly. It was there, and then it's not there. Um, so this is just a BB Perline play. BB Perline play. Um, I think this is mainly, I get caught for this not because it's a bad play. I think this is a play that I can say is a, a decent play. It's just Falcon Hit has a quite reasonable idea that I would do a BB Perlin. And choose me for it with oh, any second thought. Also, I could have bugged and just, like, it's Tan. He doesn't want to mess around. So this game was actually slow cast, uh, Slappy and Warren Track casted it 
today, which is the 6th. And I wasn't appreciative of how much they didn't appreciate my pearl line. So let's go look at the pearl line. So the pearl line happens here, but what I want to look at is here. So I'm walking over here. I want to get in the conversation with the, the double agent and I see Irish take. And Toby gets beat up. And look at this. So this is a situation where I would 100% purloin if I was Papa Danger, right? I, I've already shown in one of our previous replays me doing a purloin behind the pillar. If you look at the sniper side, the, no chance. Like, you don't even know Papa Danger is there at that particular moment um, with what, what I'm looking at. Like, you can barely figure out who it is. You can see the blue shoulder. So, and he rejects. He does his fantastic reject, um, so I'm gonna 100% request. And, and the end of red. I'm doing the BB to because I always wanted to do the BB into the purloin because I'm mad it didn't work in the last time. <laughs> and if I look at the sniper side, I also hit the reject. I'm not particularly like the list is not behind the pole. I think he was watching it. If I hit hit a white there, I might have just died. Um, but we're in good position. We got three and a half missions, and I know at least one person who is hy hyper suspect from the purloin. I think Papa Danger is actually more likely to be the spy based on just that purloin. The bug I had was quite good. The flirts, I don't uh, believe Falcon hit as any track on, and we both did the banana bread. As far as I'm concerned, Papa Danger is at least, if not more, suspicious than me, and I'm in a good position to win. Um, looking at the ambassador, got to go finish this flirt. If we don't hit the green on the flirt, we're in trouble. So we want to do that first. If we look at what's happening over there, Papa Danger ends up taking. The purloin was taken by Queen. I'm not 100% sure if I knew that within the game. Section target comes to me after trying to sunshine. And we're not going to be close enough to get the flirt. But it doesn't matter because what's happening is... Uh, Falcon Hit is having none of his assumed shenanigans. It's a frame while still finishing missions, which is really... There's two ways to win, right? And you want to be able to mission win, and you want to make sure that you don't give people alibis, and if you can, get people shot so you don't have to do... I mean, what my fifth mission would be, it would be me doing another flirt, quite rudely, um, because I only have 50 seconds. And then probably either swap side statue as Taft, which is hyper suspicious, um, or do uh, inspects and have to stand there for two cycles. And he might assume that swap's happening anyways, even if he has no understanding that I was part of the purloin or uh, did the bug. I would rather not be Taft at the end of a game swapping statues or um, even being possibly swapping statues. Because I'm just liable to get shot for being big boned. So this is like the best sort of part line. Uh, and maybe he didn't need to shoot Papa Danger. Maybe he could wait because Papa Danger clearly hasn't done five missions. He wasn't high lit for anything else otherwise. Um, but given my propensity for doing part lines behind poles, I think this makes sense as a, uh, as a frame. That's... Not watch that. Let's go back to Morte. Apparently, oh uh, yeah, this this bugs or this bugs not. This purloin is me acknowledging that Slappy is having too much success, and I'm having a lot of purloins like 30 seconds in the game uh, this season. These are not necessarily the best purloins. Um, I would love to get a bug here, but Ambassador is going to get kicked out by Sam in danger, and I don't have enough cover. Red dress takes, and I get offered a drink here relatively soon. So the reason I'm going to do this purloin is I'm under the impression... If I go to free camera... That Queen or Alice will be the next in line if I do uh, a green purloin. And if that happens, they'll have the tray behind the shoji. And so they'll be more, uh, more suspicious if a, a take happens. 
and if I do banana bread plus purloin, it's really hard for someone not to get shot because there's a lot of uh, things that can happen. Mainly just bugs are really hard to see. Um, so what ends up happening is I end up doing a white purloin and let's go see where Toby goes. And Cowboy, who entered the conversation um, shortly, is going to be the one who gets the next offer, which is not what I wanted or expected because he's out in the open. So this is all sorts of visible. Uh, yeah, Slappy definitely sees at that point. He lowlights Toby. But let's see if he actually catches it. Banana bread. I do the banana bread. This is fake, but so many people are in conversation, it's quite likely that double agents, like my conversation, is considered real. Either way, it's still framing people who are in the uh, the front conversation no matter what. And I don't really know who's going to be suspicious for the purloin because it just didn't go the way I thought it would. Um, I'm either dead or uh, someone's going to get shot, but it's going to be whoever Slappy decides to shoot. Uh, he highlights Carlos. So Carlos is the top purloin suspect. Um, I don't get a highlight notably which is nice i appreciate you slappy i still have a drink that needs to be gulped if uh if it's a real drink it's not this game's almost over anyways because slappy's gonna end up shooting papa danger which is unfortunate for him by the way because uh papa danger was outside of the conversation during the the fake bb but he doesn't appreciate that papa danger goes into conversation and talks uh i think he might also stop talk which is like something that slappy was yeah he stops it with the drink take which is something that Slappy really doesn't appreciate in the set. He thinks I'm very rude for some reason. So, Perloin puts a lot of pressure on him threat-wise, and then he just shoots the uh, the first person he catches who's suspicious. Because um, Perloin is a way to make noise. It's not like, this isn't a frame Perloin. This is me just going, in the rest of the set, Slappy just kept on shooting me for um, behavioral and just me being rude. This is me just changing the pace and going, well, can you deal with a fake rush? So that's that's the whole, uh, every purloin I've done on tray purloins. I'm not going through the uh, bar purloins because I think they're a different monster entirely. It's a, a lot more frame heavy and it doesn't really have the understanding of where Toby's going to go next. Just to go over Toby logic, let me go pull up uh, like the library game again, or one of these library games. So Toby will go to the nearest legal target. So let's go watch Toby for a bit in free camera. So right here, um, mom's going to take the nearest legal target should be Taft. Uh, assuming that Taft hasn't been offered recently. He has been offered recently, so let's go further back. Let's just go watch Toby for this whole game. Okay. So, Seek's a legal target. After Seek, Wheels is not a legal target because he has a drink in hand. Uh, Salmon Danger is not a legal target because he has a drink in hand and is against the wall. Uh, mom is sipping, or not mom, Irish is sipping her drink. These people all have things, drink, drinks in their hand or are busy at bookcases and statues. So when Seek takes his drink, Toby doesn't have anybody to immediately offer to. He'll probably make an attempt at Boots. Oh no. Okay, Wheels finished his drink. Um, after Wheels, though, right now, I mean, Orange Dress is now ready to be offered, which he'll probably leave before the drink gets there. She could take if she wants. So Toby, at this point, he can go to Salmon Danger, but that's really far away. I think those conversations are closer. And everybody else is out of conversation or has a drink. So he's going to make a decision. And yeah, he's going across the map. Meanwhile, I'm time adding over here, by the way. Okay, so he goes across the country. From here, I believe I'm too far against the wall. Queen is definitely against the wall. Uh, Wheels has a drink. Um, so my expectation would be after Rocker would be Taft. Okay, now Ambassador, because Ambassador is now closer. Yeah, and then Taft. 
So that that's considered um, an offer to ambassador. He's not going to offer to ambassador for the next thirty seconds. So if someone's been offered or just any attempt at all, if Toby looks at you, he cannot offer you again for another thirty seconds. He also will not offer to the same person twice. So if you're playing with a very low uh, person count and you reject an offer, you'll have to wait till at least someone else is uh, is offered a drink before he'll come back to you. So this will be. Oh, good. he's trying mom here, which is, I mean, the closest person, and she is going to actually take, this is a, yeah, so this is the sort of Perlin that uh, is really weird, because you put down the briefcase, and then she needs to get out of that briefcase situation in like a second or two, but Toby's right there to offer, and then, so that's why she does the uh, the quick pull of the drink, is her timing on the briefcase happens right as she uh, takes the drink, and so she gets finishes the animation and then really cuts it. This is actually replicable. You can pull that as long as you're not purloining. If you're purloining, you'll just crush. So now Taft will finally get his offer. Nope. Yeah, did Taft already have his offer or is this actually closer? So the, the weird thing with closer is it's not always obvious. Apparently Duke was closer here because Taft hasn't had an offer as far as I know. Uh, Taft moves. If Toby was ever considering it, he's not considering it now. Uh, Mom has a drink, so it's going to be Boots, General. Um, I assume General's marginally closer to where Duke was, so he'll probably do General first, then Boots, then Ambassador, then Alice. Uh, assuming that nothing changes. Or, now General uh, Salmon. And then Boots. It's just going to go around the circle at this point. God, this game has a lot of time. It's like I time added a bunch. Um, so, when we talk about legal, it's if they have something in their hand, if they're against a wall, if they've been offered, uh, in the last 30 seconds, or if they, um, were the last person offered, if that's somehow more than 30 seconds, um, and then from there, if, assuming that there's multiple legal people, he will go to the closest, the closest, as we saw with, like, behind that, uh, pole when he was choosing between... Uh, Duke there at the books, an ambassador in the conversation. Closest is not always particularly obvious because um, it might be based on vision. Um, and then from there, the only exceptions as far as I know are um, requests. I mean, if the spy requests and it's not in this logical chain, obviously that's a hard, uh, a hard tell. Um, but a spy can also request from a logical place where you just happen to be the next person Toby was already going to you, but now you're confirming it. And often it's quite gray. You might request, and there might be multiple people that you, the sniper can see and go, well, that's a reasonable person for it to go to, even if it's not necessarily the actually uh, legal person to go to. Um, in regards to drink etiquette, so that was a pretty quick take by Boots. Um, so the AI will always give it a gap before either offering or rejecting. If you see someone just immediately take or immediately reject, um, that is the spy. Um, and then they have to make a decision about accepting or rejecting. As far as I can tell, it's six seconds. So it's like one to six seconds is the gap. While Toby will not necessarily give up until 10 to 13 seconds. Anything more than uh, like six seconds is just a, uh, a tell. And then the give up is obviously... Uh, visible in the log like it's particularly bad so hopefully that just a little postscript here of toby logic explains when i'm saying i'm rejecting this with the intention of this person taking it and uh and them being behind the pole this is the logic that i'm using and i'm looking around my conversation and going well everybody in this conversation has a drink or is against the wall or was just offered i should be good to go and then Preferably, it didn't actually happen in any of these games. Toby will go one direction, I'll go the other direction, and I'll be really far away from the purloin. Um, not too unsimilar from, say, like the gallery purloin I had against year end, where I got outside, um, far away from the uh, the issue, and he didn't reward anybody or low light anybody against the purloins. Yeah. Okay. So if we do the same thing, General's been offered relatively recently. I don't think he's necessarily going to be the next offer. Pearls is against the wall. Mom and Danger have drinks. Uh, spy is coming up. 
I'm wondering if General is back in the chain or if he's just going to try and make an attempt to give it to me. Okay, so it's been 30 seconds since General was offered, so he's going to get another offer. And then Toby's going to have to go far away. So if General did a purloin here and greened it, Toby's going to end up behind the pole offering to like Irish or Disney. And both of those would be um, more suspicious in this purloin than General. Yeah, so what ends up happening is... Uh, if General was the purloiner, then Irish ends up taking it, and the list would be gone. It would be fa fantastic for this, this buy. That, that's the sort of... General would be the uh, the person here who would have the best green purloin of the two or three minutes that we saw. Um, I'm going to close this up here, but if anybody has questions, please put it in the comments. Um, I will reply to them, because I don't have too much to do in regards to the... Uh, I don't. This isn't the big big channel or anything um i do want to like answer any questions um feel free to do youtube things you know like subscribe because i'm going to make more videos in the future and uh with that i appreciate your time